Hello everyone, this is DJ Zelks, aka the Digital Magic, here from Team Lone Wolf, here with, for the first time in a while, a uh, resource pack spotlight for IR, or Immersive Railroading. This resource pack, uh, known as the Amtrak Plus Pack, or depending on who you are, the Am Off Track, uh, that's a railroading joke, sorry if you don't get that, uh, was made by Dark Raider, aka TM... Zero seven one zero, I think. I don't remember his uh, the his GitHub username. But anyways, this is by Dark Raider, one of the uh, modelers for IR, and actually one of the uh, developers for IR also. Um, and it's kind of an interesting pack, just because, as you can see, we've got a bit more than just what you would normally expect. Let me kind of clear away all this nonsense. Sorry about that. So first thing that's very interesting is that. We have this. So this is, as you can see up above, what's called a high rail. And these You can find these pretty commonly on um, some big name railroads. They're a kind of form of inspection vehicle. And it's literally just a truck or van of some sort that have wheels, or uh, railway wheels just attached to them. Um, so, and it works pretty uh, well. It's one of the fastest uh, vehicles actually. Uh, in the mod, assuming that you get it uh, if it's just running by itself. Um, but if I can get this to kind of heat up, I'll let that heat up for a bit. Anyways, so the, what else have we also got? Um, the reason why I'm heating up is because it's got kind of a neat uh, audio. Uh, next is the Amtrak Surfliner, as you can see here. Um, overall, I think this is kind of one of the nicer models. Uh, something you'll notice is that all of the models from this resource pack have incredibly detailed bogies. That's a kind of a key feature of Dark Raider, actually. He helped me uh, remodel one of my models, actually, um, and completely and totally redid all the uh, bogies. But as you can see, he's got a very nicely done interior. Whoops, here. Um, got full on control panel, very similar to what you would actually see in the Surfliner, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, very nicely made locomotive and you can kind of poke in here and see so I, I can't even see what in the world there is in there but something's in there i assure you um we've got the surfliner livery so let me kind of pop in as you can see it's kind of nice and spacious um note that this is the second level of the uh train car if you look down here there's a first level um, you cannot go down to the first level just due to the limitations of IR, but you can kind of see that you've got a uh, baggage hold or a baggage rack. Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. Um, it looks very kind of similar to top part. As you can see. There you go. Kind of see a bit more there. Um, and I just put down three of these. So these are really nice in my opinion. Um, look very nice. Uh, they've got the raised door like on the actual ones um so yeah overall surfliner is nice um we've got the i'm gonna actually uh skip that one uh, well there you go so that's what the the horn sounds like for it which i think is kind of funny that he took an actual uh car horn and used it so here is the amtrak california it's got a very nice uh logo on the side of this um, again, very nicely done cab. I think this is actually just the same control panel copied over from the other one. I think they're just kind of slightly... No, the fronts are slightly different. Uh, actually, I'm fairly certain the fronts are slightly different. I'm 80% certain that the fronts are slightly different. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we also have uh, the uh, California livery, which, as a, again looks very similar it's just a, it's just a recolor actually i believe um of the uh surfliner so and again look very nice very on point if i do say so myself um and then last but not least the fourth locomotive is the amtrak cascades locomotive um again same control panel i'm fairly certain that the, this one's act yeah, no, I'm 80% certain now that these are actually just uh, reskins of each other. But even then, they still look really nice. Um, they're very nicely done reskins. Uh, and these, um, 
the Cascades doesn't have a specific uh, set of train cars for it in the mod, so I just added in the rest of the coaches that come with the mod, so the Surfliner, Surfliner coaches. Huh, interesting. Um, that might be an issue on my... Well, no. I don't know. I'm not sure why he's got Surfliner coach and the Surfliner livery for the Surfliner coach. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Anyways, again, two floors. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is just their reskins of each other. Um, and this is where we sort of kind of get into some interesting stuff. Oops. This is the Surfliner Diner. Um, and as you can see, it's got some tablecloths. They're kind of low poly, but I mean... It's what you get, I guess, when you get a Minecraft mod. And even then, they're still really nicely done. I mean, that's exactly how you I would expect them to look. Um, nice little compartment here, stairs down. Um, I think you can kind of vaguely see into the kitchen, which would be on the floor below it, typically. Um, and then lastly, we have the lounge car. Oh, keep doing that. And as you can see, it's if you've ever been on a Surfliner or any sort of Amtrak train, you know exactly what this coach looks like, and this is exactly it. Um, I mean, the, the car, the seats are a bit wide, but I mean, this is exactly what it looks like in real life. I mean, this is down on point. Uh, we even have a nice little barn here, um, kind of phased through the <laughs> phase through it, with nice little glass here, though. I'm not exactly sure why you would have that. Um, I don't think the actual one has glass because I'm I I've been on one of these uh, train cars and I'm pretty certain that there wasn't any glass on the actual little countertop. Excuse me. Um, and then the back side of it is uh, these nice little seats like you see. They're kind of like a. a it is as if you took the diner cars and you took the curtain off or not the curtain the uh, tablecloth off. But either way, it looks very nice. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, very nicely made uh, consist, or not consist, I'm sorry. I can't speak the right words today. Um, train car, and you've got the same down in the bottom. You've actually got another nice little, sadly you can't get in there to look at it, but you've got a nice little countertop in there. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, it's looks very nice from the outside. All of these look very nice from the outside. It's a very nicely done uh, set of trains. Or well, consists, whatever you want to call them in this case. But uh, overall, I think they're very well done. Dark uh, does some really good job uh, with, does a really good job with his mo uh, models. The uh, bogies especially, I'm sorry that they're kind of off Kilter. I haven't really moved the train back and forth. It's a weird bug with IR um, that I don't exactly know how to fix. But anyways, yeah, it's a, they're very nice. They look incredibly nice. Um, if you've ever played with uh, any, uh, if you've played with my uh, theme park pack, which is something that I'll eventually show off, um, all the models that you see in that uh, from V. 1.1 or any of the versions that have uh, a point one are typically have been redone by dark and You will notice that they're a lot nicer looking. He's he really knows how to make a very nicely done model It's very nice detail uh, Really, it's almost kind of beautiful in its simplicity Like the body is just very simple. I mean, it's got the greats and that's about it really it I mean it and the bogey the bogies are just a whole another level of what the hell but I mean just the body is very nicely done um, he really knows how to do good texturing I've seen some he did he was the one that did the pre-render for the uh, the or the rendered picture for the theme park train you'll see he know all that's like just flat textures so he really knows how to do what he, he he does it's very impressive so anyways uh this has been the Amtrak plus pack i believe he is working on including some more train cars though i'm not certain of that so don't quote me 
Um, but he is still working on it. It's not. It's by no means done. Uh, so I know that he's doing some more work on it. Um, as usual, I'll put a download link down in the description if you want to play with this pack. It's a very nice pack. Um, beautiful locomotives, so I'll definitely recommend it. Um, and as usual, I will see you in the next video. If you like this and you want to see more mod spotlights, or not spotlights, uh, resource pack spotlights, because I am going to be doing some more. Uh, I'm just using, I, the reason I'm recording this one is because if you watch my Red Sands Railroading series, you know that I accidentally skipped a week, and this is kind of my way of making up, is this, and then I'm also uh, posting two videos uh, this week. So, anyways, if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, maybe even a comment. Uh, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon, and you will get notified every single time I post up a new video. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.